Hey guys, this is American Eye bringing to you another cool video. Have you ever heard something so believable and the person who told it to you was so convincing and it sounded so scientific saying it that you just believed it? Yeah, those are the type of things that have kept people confused for a very, very long time. These are things that many people believe to be true, but in fact, sometimes it's completely the opposite. This is the craziest scientific misconceptions. Number 13, the old penny from the Empire State Building. We know you guys know this one. People have spread this myth for a long time, and it's really all that it is, a myth. It goes that if you drop a penny from the Empire State Building, you can seriously injure or even kill someone on the ground. There's really no truth to this at all, and it's for a few reasons and factors as to why. A penny's terminal velocity is an open air area with no breeze nor updraft is going to be somewhere between 30 to 35 miles per hour. And there are typically updrafts running up the building in New York City, so that's going to slow it down even more. Even though it does sound a little bit fast, there's no way that that's going fast enough to kill someone. The truth is, it might not even hurt. The Mythbusters even shot a penny at a gel school at over 700 miles per hour, and guess what? The penny didn't even penetrate the gel of the school, so that's saying something. You're probably not going to hurt anyone dropping a penny from the Empire State Building, but you still probably shouldn't do it. Number 12. Blind as a bat. We've all heard that saying before, and many do believe that bats truly are blind. Well, guess what? This isn't the case. While a lot of bats do use echolocation to navigate and find their way in specific surroundings and situations, they can all see. Echolocation isn't even useful past a few meters, so it wouldn't even make sense for bats to be blind. It appears that many bats use something called self-triangulation that they base off of landmarks that they see. Bats create a visual mental map of their area, which allows them to determine a destination or direction to go. It's also believed that the bats may have another sense as well, magnetism. They have a substance in their bodies called magnetite, which they use as an internal compass to help them orient and navigate. Anyways, bats can see and they do all kinds of cool stuff. Number 11, knuckle cracking. Did anyone else's parents ever freak them out by telling them that cracking their joints was gonna cause arthritis? Knuckle cracking just happens in school and the workplace and it's a part of life. But do you ever stop and think about what your mom told you and feel bad for your coworkers? Well, stop feeling bad for them, because science has shown that there is actually no correlation between cracking your knuckles, knees, spines, neck, etc., and osteoarthritis. A bunch of studies have shown that no matter how much someone has actually cracked their knuckles over the years, it doesn't seem to increase their risk for arthritis. So crack away, my friends. Number 10. Postmortem Hair and Nails We know it's not always fun to get in some gruesome and morbid subjects, but sometimes it can be fun. So let's talk about this one. We've all heard at some point or another that our hair and nails continue to grow after we pass on, which sounds really, really creepy. But luckily for us, this one isn't true. Hair and nails can appear to have become longer after someone passes on. Not because they kept on growing, but because the skin dries out and shrinks. This then tightens up the skin, which retracts it around the nails and hair, making them appear longer. Pretty creepy. Number 9. A Bad Conductor Did you know as far as electricity conductors go, pure water just doesn't cut the cake? Well, it's true. Pure water is electrically neutral, so sort of is unaffected by electricity. Some waters though, like tap water or lake water or standing water, carry a charge just fine though. That's because they contain elements or minerals that conduct electricity well. But if you're looking to, for some odd reason, pass an electrical charge through water, make sure that it's not pure water. Because pure water and electricity get along a little bit too well, you're definitely not going to like the results you're looking for. How often are we going to be dealing with pure water and electricity in the real world though? At least it's good, potentially useful information. Number 8. Lightning now there's a little saying out there that goes something like, lightning never strikes twice in the same place. And while that sounds all fine and dandy, whoever decided to say that doesn't know what they're talking about. Lightning can strike the same place plenty times. Places like the Empire State Building are a perfect example. On average, the famous New York building is struck by lightning 23 times per year. It can also be hit upwards of 100 times, but that comes as no surprise with it being so tall. It has a giant metal rod on the top of it, so you know, you kind of figure. One World Trade Center is also susceptible given its incredible height. And you can see both buildings being hit at the same time in this picture. Lightning has also, while not quite often, struck the same house twice. Whether it was over a period of many years or within a relatively small span of time. Lightning can undoubtedly hit twice in the same place. The devastating electrical charges can hit over and over in the same spot. It doesn't matter. Mother Nature is certainly a random lady. Number 7. 
all the brain cells. It's a widespread misconception that we are born with every brain cell that we're ever going to have in our life. But there's a lot of evidence signaling otherwise. Science shows that the brain seems to continue producing new brain cells, at least in a very few key areas of the brain. This is certainly true during growth into adulthood. The process of your body building and creating new cells is called neurogenesis. This is the process that generates neurons from neural stem cells. Everyone has the ability and capability to create these new cells. It turns out they can even enhance cognitive function. According to a study pulled from the journal Cell done in 2013, your brain still produces around 700 new brain cells every day. Number 7. Not a Brontosaurus Alright, so here's a fun fact, but you need to brace yourself for it. The Brontosaurus, as we all know it, never even existed. Yes, a paleontologist discovered a fossil and named it Brontosaurus, when it actually it was an unidentified dinosaur known as an Apatosaurus. What we've known about history, or what we thought we've known for over 100 years now, is all a lie. And it's due to a dumb rivalry between two paleontologists. The man responsible for this mayhem and the madness is Othniel Charles Marsh, who misidentified the fossil in the 1880s. It apparently caused a lot of confusion throughout the years. Number 5. Goldfish Memories Everyone believes that goldfish only have memories of just a few seconds, right? Well, that's not true. Not true at all. This has even been debunked for a long time, actually. A 15-year-old boy did his own experiment in 2008 and found out that it was untrue himself. Rory Stokes used a small fish tank, a red Lego, and some food to test his theory. He'd feed the fish next to it every day, and while at first they were nervous and timid around the child's toy, they quickly would encircle the block and wait for the food within three weeks. He then skipped the experiment for a week when he brought the Lego back out seven days later. They remembered it perfectly well, and it proved that the goldfish can not only remember things for a good chunk of time, but they can also recall that info later on. Number 4. Pruned up A lot of people know why their fingers tend to prune up when they keep their hands in water for a long time. But there are some who don't. For a long period of time, science didn't quite understand it either, and it attributed to a phenomenon known as osmosis. They thought the sebum was washed away from the surfaces of our fingers and then flushed out a bunch of compounds from the outer layer of our skin and then left behind some parched pruned skin behind. But we now know that's not the case. It's because our fingers get better grip underwater when our skin prunes, and it's actually an evolutionary function to help us out. Well, back in the times when our ancestors had to gather vegetables and other foods from wet areas and walk through streams barefoot, they really needed extra help. We're glad it's not what they initially thought. Number 3. Great Wall of China No, the Great Wall of China is not the only human-made thing or structure that can be seen from space. And really, it all kind of depends on what your definition of space is. If you can see the wall from space, then you can see other structures, and if you can not see it, then you can not see other structures. From the moon, for example, you'd be able to glimpse at some lights in our planet, but you would never even be able to dream of seeing the Great Wall of China. But we're just saying, there are other human-made things that can be seen from space, and that ride isn't reserved for the wall. Number 2. Chewing Gum We've all heard about it, the age-old warning against swallowing our chewing gum because it will stay in our system for the next 7 years. But is there any truth to this? No, no there is not, and if you know anything about digestion, you probably already knew that. Yeah, some small compounds of the gum get digested, like the sweeteners and such, but most of the gum, and what it's made of, is indigestible, which means it passes through the system and comes out. It's thought that considering its consistency and resilience, gum might take a little bit longer to travel through the entire body. But it should pass within a week or so. Seven years? More like seven days. And number one, Flat Earth. Oh boy, about to get trolled. You know how we've always heard that until recently, people used to think the Earth was actually flat. Maybe there's a little bit of truth to this, but maybe not as much as we're led to believe. During the Middle Ages, pretty much all these scholars believed and knew that our planet was spherical and not flat. From the 14th century on, belief in a flat Earth by anyone educated was extremely rare, basically non-existent. Historians say that the flat Earth era took place and peaked in 1870 and 1920, not earlier. So everything we've heard and believed about the Flat Earth Theory is wrong. The Flat Earthers that are making the news now, we already knew their beliefs and have no basis. The Flat Earthers that are making the news now, we already know their beliefs have no basis and that we thought they were just crazy for following old beliefs. Now we know those beliefs were barely ever a thing and never really were popular among the educated. 
People are just amazing. That's all for me today, guys. But we'll see you next time right here on Taltanic.